Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. So, Mimosa, let's paint H5 here and move on to light G3. Try and confuse the hell out of him. Just playing it as though I'm playing the French defense. If I just take on D4. I think the Kobians had this lecture. We, we just released the tension. I know it's a bit crazy to release the tension, but sometimes that's interesting. Doesn't want to back down in terms of spending a bit of time as if he knows this position. <laughs> Pretty sure this isn't the standard position. Um, okay. Let him interrupt my king, I think. I probably should be spending time here. Knight d5 for rook c8 is now threatened. If I play bishop c6, trying to snuff out his fun. B4 square is okay. Dark square bishop's nice. Um, maybe bishop e7 and get my king a bit more safe. King f8. Oh, that's not going to happen, is it? Is that knight d3? Is that doing anything? No, just loses a piece. Queen d8 for the idea of rook g6, queen g5. That's interesting. Can I actually get an attack going against this GM with rook g6, queen g5? Protecting h4 here. Ah, oh. ah, oh. yeah, slight snag then. It takes up, I'm on C1 here. Does that mean anything? Not really, it seems. Um, so again, there's no. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, okay, let's find some resources. Come on, come on. I can take, I will take, right, B6. Still got the dark sky bishop. He's got a minute clock advantage. He's got 96 necessarily. So I want to play bishop e7. King f8. Okay. Bishop e7 on rook a7. Yeah, he's getting a dynamic aggressive position, unfortunately. As GMs do. Um, ah, rook e7 threatened. Okay, I need to cover this stuff up. It's f5, a way of covering up f7. Was I playing f6? Rookie, yeah. 
that's my point anyway. Um, this Queen C1 check would have been potentially interesting. <clears throat> I can't take on E5. That's annoying. I can take on E6, can't he? And he will do. Protecting. Check. <clears throat> oh man, I've been totally dismantled. I didn't. Ah, oh, the check here. There's no check. No decent check for me. Lost chances with the dark square bishop. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, oh man, the whole thing oh, was really great play by him, wasn't it? What is this, man? How they, they refuse not to have a dynamic position, basically. You really found the dynamic way of playing it uh, with that pawn sack. Really, really dynamic. Ah. I haven't really got anything, have I? I've actually just dropped a5 <laughs> weakness to the last move. So I would have been okay, okay. maybe just playing like this. Just holding on for a moment to everything that needs to be held on to. My outside pawns here, which are a little bit fragile. Cared about this one, not about this one. What does he do here? What does he do? Say this position. What could have been? Oh, hang on, hang on. Engine likes this. Oh man, what? Why? Didn't really. I thought simply this was protected. I gave it protected status because the queen was protecting g2. That assumption is not always true. If the queen could be distracted with knight d3 winning an exchange <laughs> basically ah maybe he takes it's even worse he loses a rook an entire rook oh man tissue of lies game i i don't know why i i ah oh. i'm seeing that this morning that there are weaknesses in king safety that emerge in in the variations even against i am strong i am's gms there are king safety weaknesses he's getting to my back row with this stuff or my f7 threatening queen f7 this is a disaster isn't it or is it i made it so f takes in here bishop moves back oh Trump card is, is actually showing its value here, protecting e7. Nope, didn't use the trump card at all. Passive bishop instead. Check. A disaster which didn't need to be. Oh well, comments, questions, likes, appreciate that. I think, I think you've got to assume if you want to fight these guys, I want to try and make up my mind. If I'm going to try and play these GMs, I think I've got to assume there are variations which will expose king safety issues. I think I've got to assume that from now on more strongly. Otherwise, I'll never, I'll never have the confidence to find problems with king safety like knight d3. That that was a key thing. I, I'm I'm going to try harder to find king safety issues. I think I've got to try really hard because he was trying really hard basically to activate his rooks against my king.
it's, it's a shame I didn't let's just rewind for a back it's a shame I really didn't I was too worried about the bishop just check this position about the doubling of rooks so apparently I'm giving myself the f6 square to escape the wrath of the rooks seems to work because actually also I think no 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 the idea is actually queen takes yeah uh, what does he do what does he do to this does, does he what, what does white want to do hang on white is better by this stage he is getting to my king isn't he Check. it's complicated but yeah oh he can get really get to my king <laughs> he's better by this stage but i missed the trick on g2 i mean i was mentioning about the attack and i thought somehow i ruled it out as as though there was nothing after just because the queen was protecting g2 just yeah okay comments questions likes appreciated thanks so much